curiosity, or at least its earthbound twin. The real Mars rover is hurtling through space 150 million miles away. The plan is for the one-ton robot to harvest a host of data and images from the red planet. But first, it has to land safely. We hit the top of the atmosphere, going about 13,000 miles an hour. Um, we'll start trying to go, trying to start steering toward the landing site. Uh, this vehicle has guided entry, so we're, we're trying to land precisely uh, right at the foot of that mountain. This is the Mars Yard at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, where scientists practice with Curiosity's stunt double. Sunday is the big day, and this team of engineers and scientists will be watching nervously back on Earth. First, the rover will swerve horizontally through the Martian sky to slow down its descent. We'll get to about Mach 1.7, deploy our big parachute, uh, hit up to another eight or, eight or so Earth Gs when that parachute inflates. Uh, 30 seconds later, separate the heat shield, start looking for the ground. Then it will be lowered to the surface on cables, but that's only if all goes well. I mean, we are landing a ton, a ton of vehicle. It weighs 900 kilograms on the surface of another planet uh, hundreds of millions of miles away. That is a really hard thing to do. If the landing isn't spot on perfect, the rover will tumble into a dusty grave. Two billion dollars and more than two years of work. You can have a bad day on Mars. You can get a wind gust that makes it so that you cannot land on the surface. And, and there's things outside of our control. It takes 14 minutes for commands from Earth to reach the rover on Mars. So it will perform this carefully coordinated choreography all on autopilot, while the engineers and scientists bite their nails here at Mission Control. Two-thirds of all the things we have sent to Mars have failed. The fate of NASA's future Mars missions hinges on the data that Curiosity sends back to Earth. Without the space shuttle and astronauts for this generation of school kids to look up to, NASA needs to engage and inspire the public to care about this little robot as much as the engineers here do. I was joking with my wife the other day. I think I have more pictures of the rover on my phone than my kids. Um, and we definitely have an emotional attachment to these things. Like, it is our responsibility to help guide them safely on the surface of Mars. Uh, and that's a big responsibility, and, and I care for this thing. We've for now, these scientists and engineers really refuse to even entertain the notion of failure. Raquel Maria Dillon, The Associated Press, Pasadena, California.